Huntington's disease is a neurological disorder. Huntington's chorea, other term chorea, choreography, body movement. Huntington's uncontrolled writhing that eventually consumes the entire body 24-7. The person eventually, not so long, soon, dies from choking to death on their saliva because their muscles aren't coordinated anymore. Totally horrible neurological disease. But what has taken people years is to realize that that's not what Huntington's looks like at the beginning. And instead, it's the profile, the scenario that I gave in the very first class. Again, middle-aged guy, happy marriage, in the suburbs, jobs, 2.73 kids and dogs, all of that sort of thing. And the one day he suddenly punches somebody at work. Then the wife discovers he's having an affair with whoever. Then he gets arrested for brawling drunkenly in a bar and he never used to drink. And then he embezzles all the funds from work and disappears forever until a year or two later when he shows up in a neurology ward at the other end of the country because he's getting tremors. And what people have now figured out is two or three years before Huntington's is a neurological disorder of movement, it's a psychiatric disorder of disinhibition. It is one where you begin to see a behavioral profile like this. And what you see is, by the time you've got early stage Huntington's patients, when they're hospitalized, they are famous for coming on to the staffers or showing up in the day room without their pajama bottoms or things. Just famous for doing stuff like that, the disinhibited behavior of Huntington's patients. And what's remarkable there is people have known for a long time what the sort of neuropathology is of Huntington's, Huntington's the movement disorder, and it's a disintegration of some motor pathways in the brain. Now that people have genetic markers for the disease, know with some likelihood who's going to get it when, What's become apparent now is two or three years before you start getting damage in the part of the brain having to do with motor control, you get damage in the frontal cortex. Huntington's is initially a disease of frontal cortical degradation. And what is remarkable about that is this is a genetic disorder which immediately barrels us into the, this is a maladaptive trait. You are dead by the time you're 50 or so. Our usual question, why is it evolving? Why is it being maintained in the population? Seeing a theme of a hidden benefit of Huntington's, which is that disinhibited behavior a couple of years before the neurological symptoms do you in. During that time window, individuals with Huntington's out-reproduce their unaffected siblings, they become, among other things, sexually promiscuous. And they pass on more copies of their genes. And what you suddenly see at that point is, framed from the standpoint of arms that won't stop moving, we're talking neurology, framed from the standpoint of number of copies of genes, and this is an evolutionary advance. This is something which behaviorally increases reproductive success. Onset is typically around age 40. So catching it around that time, which is typically around the point where reproductive activity, sort of reproduction, goes down in humans. So getting an extra little blip out there, from the standpoint of an evolutionary biologist, this isn't a disease. This is a great invention where the bill happens to come a while later, but there's no free lunch. And framed that way, this is a very different way of thinking about this disease. But what was most striking is when you first hear about it and somebody says, OK, what do you think the causes of this behavior are? What causes this? And the ones that most readily come to mind is the guy's a jerk. The guy's having a midlife crisis. The guy's what? Like, oh, no, it's actually a single gene defect where there's too many glutamines coded. That, and it's a disease of a single gene goes wrong, and out comes this, and all we need to consider is there's individual variation in aspects of that system long far outside the range of what would get a disease label. 